Before you go out into the field to mount your camera, you need to change some of the settings. This will ensure that you take beautiful pictures with all the information on it. In this video, I will show you my preferred settings for the Colorback Pro Color. To start, we need to set the correct time and date by turning the knob to time. Now we can set the time with the A and B button, selecting the hours and the minutes. Just make sure you have the AM and PM set correctly. Now we turn to date. The date you can change with A, the month, and with B, the day. Now we're going to move to year. The A button will go backwards and the B button will go forwards. Now we get to the interesting bit when we turn to menu. In the menu button you will see the first option will be your battery power. That's the percentage of battery power left. By pressing A you will go to the next setting and we're going to keep on pressing until we get to P. Your P options is the parameters we are going to set. Next we go to P1. P1 is the flash power. I always use zero for indoors, otherwise the picture are overexposed. Change it with the B button. Next we go to P2. P2 is for video mode, where I can choose the option 1 for a 10 second video. You can change it by pressing the B button again. Next we go to P4. You will see there's no P3 because this is not an infrared camera so we can't take any videos at night. P4 is the operating time of the camera. Use the B button to move to 3 and that is for operation during the day and night. Next we go to P5. P5 is the quality of the picture. I normally use 1 because that will be a 5 megapixel photo. Next we go to P6. P6 is the fast as possible mode. I select number 1 because that will enable the fast as possible mode. Next we go to P7. P7 is zone control. There we use number 0 and that is the narrow angle. Next is P8 and P9. You don't have to change that because that is just the ID of this specific camera. Then the next one will be PA. PA is the burst mode. I normally select one because it will only take one picture, but you can move up to five in this section where it will take a burst of five pictures. You are now done with your settings. Just remember to arm the camera by turning the knob to your preferred setting You see I choose fast as possible before you leave it out in the felt. This camera will now be armed in the next 27 seconds. I hope this information can help you take better images.